Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. So today in this tutorial we are discussing about a pattern program and this pattern is different from the previous patterns because in this pattern we are combining two characters in a single pattern. So this is our today's pattern and here we can see we are printing star and character A together in this single pattern. So we'll see how to do this. So for this first we need to open the python file and in the python file first we need to take the input from the user. We will ask the user to enter the number of rows and we need to store that entered input. So for that I will take a variable. You can take any name. So enter the number of rows. Here I am using python 3 and input function in python 3 by default take input as string value but here we want number of rows that is the integer value that's why here I used int function which will convert entered input to integer form and it will store that in variable n. So similar to the previous pattern programs we need nested for loop here. First we need for loop for row. Here we want to print our character in different row and column. For that we need nested for loops and first we will write the for loop for row. You should mention for, I will take variable name as i, I will use range function. Here I need to mention how many rows I want. Here we ask the user to enter the number of rows right. That means we want n rows. So I will take the range as 0 to n. Here if you want you can take range as 1 to n plus 1 also. If you take row as 0 to n, so that means the first row will be 0, 1, 2, 3. If you take 1 to n plus 1, then the row number will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. You can take anything, but here I will take 0 to n. So next we need for loop for column. And to print values in the column, I want two for loops. That is because here we can see space first. So that means first I need to print this space, next I need to print characters. So I need two for loop, one is to print this space, for loop for space and the second for loop for character. So first we will write the for loop for space because first we need to print space, after that we need to print character, right? So for that I will take the variable name as j. And I won't mention the range now. We'll see that here we want to print space. This for loop is to print space, right? So space end is equal to empty string. Or you can mention print end is equal to space. Both are equal. And here end is equal to empty string. It is nothing but I want to keep the control in the same line. So after printing this space, I want to print this space here. I want to print this space here next to this right for this we need to keep the control in the same line that's why i mentioned end is equal to empty string if i didn't mention that it will take the default value that is slash n that means after printing this space it will go to the next line and it will print this space here so we'll get the output in a vertical line i don't want that right that's why i took end is equal to empty string here and here i need to mention how many space i want right here I need to mention the range. So for that, so here I took row from 0 to n. That's why the first row will be 0. And in the first row, I want 3 space. In the second row, that means row 1, I want 2 space. In the row 2, I want 1 space. And in the last row, I want 0 space. So for now, we have n value and i value. i is nothing but row value. So using these two variables, I need to form a formula which will satisfy this condition. So I will write the formula as n minus i minus 1. That means when n value is 4, we will get this output. Okay, For this output n is 4 because it contains 4 rows. So n is 4 and when i equal to 0 minus 1, we will get 3. That means 3 space. right? And for this n is 4, i is 1 here. So I will get 2, so 2 space here I will get 1, here I will get 0. So this satisfies this condition. So I need to use this formula n minus i minus 1. 
so here i'll mention that n minus i minus 1 all right so done we are done with this space next we'll move on to the characters so in the character we want to print star and a first we want to print star followed by a here we can see first star a here we don't want a here star a star a star a star a so first we need to write the condition for star next followed by a and to write this character both star and a we need a for loop that is the for loop for character so i'll write the for loop for character so how many characters i want in i0 i want one and in the row one we want three character but for now ignore this that means i want only two characters while writing the condition ignore this we'll insert this a later okay so for now ignore this okay so that means when row is zero i want one star when row is one i want two star when row is two i want three star when row is three i want four star that is nothing but i plus one star right when i is zero i want one star when i is one i want two star like that so here write i plus one i want to print star and is equal to empty string this is also because i want to keep the control in the same line so now if i print here this print is in the first for loop that is after each row i want new line so that is here after printing the character in row 0 i want to print row 1 in the new line i want to print the characters in the new line right so for this i took print function here so if i save this and run this we'll get this pattern now okay so this is the code for this pattern i think we already discussed about this now i need to include a between these stars right so for that so here in the row 0 i want 0 a okay i don't want any a in row 1 i want 1 a in row 2 i want 2 a here and here in row 3 i want 3 a right here 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 okay so to do this what i'll do is i'll take a variable called count and i'll initialize it to zero that means this is the count of a in row zero i want zero a in row one i want one a right this count will be stored in this count variable and i'll take the condition as if count is less than i then only print a when row is 0 that means i is 0 i'll take initially count as 0 and i'll check whether count is less than i so here 0 is less than 0 no so we won't print any a here we'll move to the row 1 again i'll reinitialize count as 0 and i'll check whether count is less than i now count value is 0 and i value is 1 so we'll get this condition satisfied so we'll print a here after this star next i'll increment the count by one here okay so count value becomes one so if again i'll check after printing this star if i again check the count count value is one and i value is one so this condition doesn't satisfy so it won't print a here it will come to the next condition so i'll show you that so here I'll take count as 0 so in the for loop of i at the beginning of this for loop body I'll take count as 0 that means for every row it will reinitialize the count okay next here after printing star I'll take if condition and check whether count is less than i if yes then print character a or uh, whatever you want and n is equal to empty string and increment count by one okay so if i save this and run this here we can see it will insert a between stars okay we'll get this output 
so we'll see how this code actually works so initially we'll ask the user to enter the input okay enter the number of rows he'll enter a value for example 4 okay so that 4 will be stored in this variable n so n value becomes 4 after that it will go to the next line that is for loop for i in range n so range n that is nothing but 0 to n n value is 4 0 to 4 so we'll get range as 0 1 2 and 3 initially i value becomes 0 okay so next count is 0 okay fine next for j in range n minus i minus 1 n value is 4 i value is 0 1 so we'll get 3 so we'll get range of 3 that means 0 1 and 2 so initially j value will be 0 it will print space okay then control will be in the same line because end is empty string so again it will go to the this for loop so now j becomes 1 so it again print a space and control is in the same line it will again go to this for loop now j value is 2 so it will again print this space and end is empty string and it will again go to this for loop but here range is over now so it will come out of this loop and it will execute next for loop so now j in range i plus 1 here i value is 0 so 0 plus 1 that means we'll get range as 0 to 1 we'll get range as 0 now j value is 0 so it will print star okay so we'll get star next it will check if count is less than i count is 0 and i is 0 0 is not less than 0 no so it won't print this condition it will go to again this for loop but here the range is over okay so it will come out of this for loop and it will execute this line that is print so control will come to this line new line now again this for loop will be executed okay i value becomes 1 now so it will again execute this count equal to 0 j in range n minus i minus 1 now 4 minus 1 minus 1 so we'll get 2 so we'll get 0 and 1 so j value will be 0 now so it will print space so we'll get space here next end is empty string again it will go to the for loop and now j value become 1 it will print another space and it will again go to the for loop but here range is over so it will come out of this for loop and execute the next line that is this for loop i plus 1 here i is 1 and uh, plus 1 so so we'll get 1 plus 1 2 so we'll get range as 0 comma 1 so initially j value will be 0 so it will print a star okay next it will check whether if count is less than i count is 0 i is 1 so 0 is less than 1 true so it will print a here next it will increment count by 1 so now count value becomes 1 so again this for loop will be executed for j equal to 1 so it will print this star this star next again it will check count is less than i now count value is 1 so 1 is less than 1 no so it won't execute this it will again go to the for loop but here range is already over so it won't print anything so it will come out of this for loop and it will execute this print function so control will move to the next line now again for loop will be executed and now i value will be 2 so count equal to 0 so count is initialized to 0 and j in range n minus i minus 1 n value is 4 i value is 2 minus 1 4 minus 2 minus 1 that is 1 so range will become 0 to 1 so we will get 0 as output so j value will be 0 initially and it will print a single space next it will again go to the for loop but but the range is over so it will come out of this for loop and it will execute this for loop for j in range i plus 1 i value is 2 2 plus 1 so range is from 0 to 2 plus 1 that is nothing but 3 so we will get 0 1 2 so initially j value will be 0 and it will print star here and it will check count is less than i i is 2 count is 0 so when i do this s yes, it satisfies so it will print a okay so next count will be incremented to 1 so count becomes 1 and after the executing this 
control will again go to the for loop and now j value is 1 so it will execute star and it will check count is less than i count value is 1 1 is less than 2 true so it will print a and it will increment count by 1 so count becomes 2 and again the control go to the this for loop now j becomes 2 and it will print this star and it will check whether count is less than i so whether 2 is less than 2 no so it won't execute this it will again go to the for loop here range is over so so the for loop execution is done so it will execute next statement that is print so control will come to the next line okay so in this way it will execute this program okay so this is about this pattern program if you have any doubt don't forget to comment below that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care